guys, this is Stormouse 3 and this is my Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Dark Difficulty walkthrough. Alright guys, so we are coming up on the end of chapter 2. Uh, you should now have all of the ingredients that you need to heal Saskia, so you're going to go talk to Philippa. And let her know that you're ready to do that. The end of this chapter, I wanted to put it all in one video, but it just it got a little too lengthy, so I needed to split it into two. So this one's going to be the eternal battle section. And then the last video for chapter two is going to be uh, the battle at Vergen. So... It would have been nice to get them all together, but it is what it is. So, have leveled up once again. And, gonna be putting that point into something and performing this a matter of life and death ritual thing. You get this negotiator silver sword. It's not going to be as good as <laughs> the silver sword that you have. I don't think it's even as good as the blood sword that we had before. So, again, just something to sell. Uh, I keep looking around her quarters because I, I kept thinking that there might be something there, but th there isn't. <laughs> There's nothing else there right now. So we're going to level up. Oh no. And I'm going to go ahead and get the better roll, which is fantastic. And I'm also going to put a point into this schemer perk to have better vigor regeneration during combat, which is always good have more access to my magics. And so then, uh, once you're ready to go ahead and perform the ritual, you talk to Philippa again and, you know, let her know got all the ingredients, let's do this thing. She performs her lesbomancy, which is one of the funniest things <laughs> to me, personally, uh, in this game. That dwarf and that comment so funny. Uh, so anyway, Saskia is all better now. Well, for the most part. And now we're ready to clear the mists and get this battle going. So once you get done looting her house, because the first thing you need to do when you <laughs> when you meet someone is go through all their things and take the stuff that you want. <laughs> That's just, you know, common RPG courtesy. And uh, once you're ready to go ahead and, and go through the mists, you go back and talk to your good friend Philippa with the funny looking eyeballs. It's very weird, like her eyes look strange sometimes. And they will find you. The I feel like the eyes in this game, eyes must be really hard to get right as far as graphics, at least, you know, on uh, last gen. Because it, it seems like Geralt's look alright most of the time. Um, but a lot of the other characters, their eyes just look weird sometimes. They go all cross-eyed or something. Anyway, <laughs> uh, when you're ready to start the start the end of this chapter, uh, we are going to take part in the eternal battle and dispel the curse that is keeping the mists there. That's basically holding back both of the armies, or it's it's holding back Hensel's army from attacking Bergen, uh, and you want to 
make sure that that conflict happens because obviously you want to defeat him and help Saskia defeat him and if you're doing the other side you're going to do this exact same thing uh, you know for the reason that you want to help them conquer Vergen and so you run on down here to the mists again the lovely lovely mists and we're going to be doing a, a section that actually uh, is one of the trickier parts because again you're not going to be in control of Geralt for a while you're going to be in control of some undead soldiers and so that makes it a little bit trickier because you get so used to controlling him uh, and having all of his moves and everything and so when you don't have that anymore it, you feel a little crippled <laughs> but it's definitely doable it's not it's not anything that uh that's going to be impossible you're going to have a lot of cutscenes, and then you're going to be in control of this undead soldier guy and so your goal here is to get rid of this Draugr but you've got these soldiers to contend with as well and as you can see they put some hurting on you so I'm kinda of focusing on taking out the two guys and then I'm gonna focus on the Draugr He'll definitely slap you if you're not careful. He kind of charges at you and whatever. But here's what you want to do. And what I've been trying to make happen was to get around behind and to the side of him. And a couple of hits and he'll go down. So you just want to be careful not run into the uh, fire on that section too. But uh, moving on, this next part, uh, you're going to be dodging some arrows. And so what you want to do is wait until the they fire the arrows and then run up to the next piece of cover. And for this one, there's going to be some cover around to the left that's going to be closer to you and that's the one that you want to run to. And right here I get myself into a spot because I keep trying to go around to the right of this thing. Uh, <laughs> but you're supposed to go around to the left of it and so that's what I'm gonna do after this next volley of arrows but just be aware that you needed to, to go around to the left there not to the right and be careful here because I think like one volley of arrows takes off quite a bit of health and probably two will kill you And so then the next section, you're in control of, I believe this is Seltkirk, the commander. And with these guys, you want to do something that you have not seen me do, probably at all in this guide, and that is block <laughs> the <laughs> block. Use the block button to sort of get these guys to lower their guard, because you don't have any other way, really. You, you can't roll you can't use any of your signs that you're used to using so you just kinda have to block and then come up and try to get an attack in so when you block they sort of lower their guard for a second and you use that to get in some hits and I think I'm going for the heavy attacks just to kill them a little bit quicker so you want to try to aggro in just a couple of these guys at a time so you can deal with them one on one because when you get more than one coming at you at once it makes it semi annoying
So here come our last two friends. And yeah, I really, the blocking, parrying, repost system on this game, I'm just not a fan. Because one, you block them and they get stunned for a second, but you can't immediately hit them like I keep trying to do. You have to like run up to them and hit them. Because for whatever reason, like you'll swing at them after they're stunned and you'll just swing on empty air because it doesn't because they when they stagger they back up it's irritating but anyway that's kind of how you want to deal with those guys and then uh, you'll be able to move on through here and finally be in control of Geralt again And, you know, when, when you get to this section, you're like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> he will kill you. Selkirk is stupid. <laughs> because Selkirk is already dead. Selkirk has already died. And so, you're going to come up here. This Bannerman is easy. <laughs> you just, I revel in it, right? Because it was so irritating before. And now you're just like, igni, igni, done. And so, as soon as you, you know, hurt that Bannerman enough, you're going to have this fight with, I guess this is Vandergrift. And he's huge. And intimidating, <laughs> but he's actually very easy to take out. Um, what you're going to want to do is put on Ken just in case you get hit. Um, and then I like to sort of run around this rock right here because it's going to serve as cover from some things. He's going to do this is the most irritating attack because you've got to dodge those stupid things. Um, he'll have that attack, he'll have arrows that he likes to do. Um, but this is how you want to you want to handle him. You want to throw down a trap and then roll around behind him, get in some hits, and you'll see he's over half dead after one trap. <laughs> uh, so you really only need to do that probably about two times. Maybe three, depending on how strong your weapon is. Go for heavy attacks. If he calls in the arrows, use this rock as cover. If he calls in the trebuchets, uh, just sort of roll around and make sure that you try to stay out of the path of the things. And now he's going to do his little spinny attack. Just kind of roll away from that. This is another reason why it's good to have that upgraded roll, because you can actually put some distance between you and the enemies, which is good. Uh, whereas before, you, when you rolled away, you just didn't get the distance that you really needed. So, throw down another trap, lure him over to it, roll around behind him. Or to the side. And he's dead. And that's your achievement, Fat Man, for killing him. You get all the items automatically. And that uh, is almost the end of this section. You're going to have one more little part here where uh, you're going to be doing another one of these run and try to avoid things <laughs> sections. And uh, start moving immediately. Don't wait like I did or else you'll get smacked by a flaming ball of death. So you sort of run up, you use this as cover, and head on into the light. And that is the end of that section, guys. So uh, I will see you in the last part of chapter two. Thanks for watching.